Welcome to another Eversky Hope developer video. So I wanted to show you some prototypes I've been working on recently, um, trying to figure out some of the build interface. So one of the things I want you to be able to do is to build um, the rig the way you like. But there's a problem with doing that in that you have to be able to, to build the rig but have it feel like you're kind of constructing things. So my first idea was to use this kind of planar build mode kind of thing. Um, the rig really needs to have structure to it so I, I want to work with the grid. And uh, the obvious thing was to sort of recreate how an RTS sim style game would do it. So I did this quick prototype to figure out um, the different types of building um, modes. And what this taught me was that th there's an actual problem with using the RTS style controls. Well, there's two problems, two really big problems actually. The first one is that it's actually kind of hard to tell where you are on the 3D plane. So I've, I've, I've created a 2D plane with the grid here. And you can see me swapping the heights. Um, you can't see the cursor, but actually it's really hard to tell exactly where the thing's going to be placed. It's not so bad when you've got everything on one plane, but as you raise the height here, um, it becomes less obvious where the things are going to go. And the sort of second problem, probably the bigger problem, I think, is that it's just too easy to use. Um, you got to remember that things like the buildings here, they'll cost you a lot of resources to build, you know, housing units and those kind of things. And you can see me placing, you know, you could literally place a whole rig's worth in like one big rectangle. And that really isn't what I wanted to go for for the game. So the next prototype I did, I thought, well, the, the RTS interface was... Um, was okay but it was kind of hard to use for three dimensions and you know building upwards um, and it didn't feel like you were building the individual parts so it's not about making it harder to build it's about making it um, build in a way that you can control but also one where you can have a feeling that the building's costing you something so and what you're not seeing here is that there's going to be a bunch of sort of text, you know, like a little um, pop-up number that every time you build and you get a sound and those kind of things. So you'll feel like you're actually building this rig. But um, so this is what I call drone building mode, and this is uh, copied over from the, the non-unity version. And that makes sense to me, you know, like I like the sort of precision of knowing where I'm going to build because it's where the, the the sort of grid cell where the, the drone is. Um, so this mode is actually a pretty useful one. But what I've found is that it just still doesn't feel quite as um, interesting. So I'll probably leave this mode actually in the game. Um, make it a sort of optional build mode and use it for a lot more of the sort of structural bits where you need maybe a bit more precision. Um, and it'll also have a, a mode where you can grab hold of pre-built objects and move them around. So this is kind of like how they do it in um, the Forge Editor with Bungie's uh, Halo games, if you've seen that. And it's useful. Um, I will include it. And you can see me, you know, I can I can build rig elements reasonably easy. Obviously, this is all just test graphics right now. Um, but yeah, you can build upwards and downwards. You have reasonably precise control. And I'll be able to sort of sell the idea that you're building objects a lot better with this, I think. But it wasn't quite the way I wanted it. It wasn't as... in. Uh, it's intuitive. It's a little bit, um, it just breaks the sort of first person thing, I think. Um, so this was uh, one of the modes I think will definitely work. 
But I wanted to carry on and, and keep looking further ahead and see if I could do something a bit more sort of in keeping with the first person nature of the game. And after a little bit of prototyping, I came up with the, the next version, which you can see in a second. And it took this concept of sort of building on a grid, and what we're doing really here is kind of building grid elements uh, and sticking meshes in them. But what I, I thought was that it would be useful if, you know, so you can you can point the first person view at uh, an element and build on the grid in front of it but also if you start building and then you go off the surface of the object so you uh, see I've just placed that block if I look at the block you know you can see that it'll build on the surface but if I say hold the cursor down what it's actually doing is it's kind of building planer to that surface so it's building on the next sort of block along and that means that you can actually run along and create sort of walkways by just walking which is I think a really nice way of doing things um, one thing I haven't done is I haven't sort of fixed it so that you can't build too far away yet which is a problem and I'll fix that one pretty easily but what this means is that you, you're basically just looking at the place where you want the build to happen And that's actually pretty useful. Um, the one downside to this, of course, is um, demonstrated here, I think, in that it's going to have to, uh, especially for sort of, you know, like the more complex buildings, it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too easy to sort of point in the wrong place. It's all right for the actual rig structure itself but maybe not for buildings. And one thing I did have to do is um, to get the verticality and I had, had to add the jetpack back. So, so now you've got a jetpack that you can jet around with. But it's still... Um, so this mode's kind of more immediate for the structure but not good for buildings, which is um, quite interesting, I think. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably use the drone for buildings so the, the drone mode will actually allow you to sort of be a bit more precise about building placement and i'll use this for the actual structure which is basically just the platforms and any supporting structures because it, it's a little bit more immediate it feels kind of nice to be able to do just you know construct things obviously once i've added the the code to sell the building and, and you know the sounds and those kind of things it'll feel a little bit more um, fleshed out as well so um yeah this is this is the current prototyping stuff hopefully i should uh, give you a final version soon and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>